Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1941 threepence, and that is the silver threepence, not the brass one from the same year as both were minted in this year. In this video I'll go through the design and then move on to the facts and figures. So then, the design. Designed by George Kruger Grey, whose initials can be seen just under the rose, the design features a English rose with the shield of England in the middle with the English cross or the St George's cross on the shield. Either side of this rose is the date, 1941. At the bottom of the coin is the words three pence, which is of course the denomination of the coin worth three pence. And at the top is an abbreviated Latin legend reading Fid Def Ind Imp, translating to English as Defender of the Faith, Emperor of India, titles of King George VI, who we'll see shortly on the obverse. And the last thing of note on this side of the coin is the beads or teeth around the rim of the coin, making the coin not vulnerable to clipping, so no one can steal the metal contents. And now move on to the obverse of the coin, also known as the head side. The design of this side of the coin was done by Humphrey Paget, and the initials HP can be seen just under the king's neck. The king is of course King George VI, who is featured facing to his left and uncrowned, as all kings have been since the reign of Charles I on hammered coins. The legend on this coin reads again in Latin, Georgivus V I D G B R Om Rex, and this time translates to George the Sixth by the grace of God, King of all the Britons. And once again, the rim of the coin features the teeth or the beads to stop clipping on both sides of the coin, and it has a plain rim on this coin as it's too small to add edge milling. Now then, on to the facts and figures of the 1941 silver threepence. This coin was minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. The coin is composed of 50% silver and 50% manganese. Between 1920 and 1946, all coins featured this alloy that were made of silver. Before that, they had been sterling silver, and after 1947, went to cupro nickel. The weight of this threepence is 1.414 grams, so it's quite a light coin, also a small coin with a diameter of only 16 millimeters, and was known as the bender, as it was small and could be easily bent, especially as the coin was very thin, so that helped bend the small little coin. And they could also be, you know, quite easily lost as they were very small. The mintage of this coin is 7,979,411, so it's not a huge mintage, and it's fairly old as well, so they're not abundantly common, but it is not a rare year. The three pence, by the way, is of course worth three pence, which is one quarter of a shilling, or one sixtieth of a pound sterling. So that's how it fit into the money back in the day. And back in the day in 1941, the coin was worth one pound and eight pence in sort of today's money. So while it's only worth three pence, you could buy a fair few things with it today, you know, being about the same value as a pound. But what is it worth today to a collector? Well, in a fine condition, the coin will sell for around three pound fifty. In extremely fine condition, the coin sells for around 18 pounds, and a 1941 silver threepence in uncirculated condition will sell for about 30 pounds. So, you know, some decent prices there if you're lucky enough to have one. But overall, I think it's a good coin with a cool little design and a nice addition to any collection. Comment down below if you have one. And while you're down there commenting, please do hit subscribe if you haven't already, as we really appreciate it. We also appreciate you watching, so thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Bits and Bobs. Bye!